Hello and back again to more information about controllers, especially now that Driven by Moss 6.3 is out, we get some new features for the generic Flexi and for the complete control series. Let's start off with the generic Flexi. If you open up the settings now of the generic Flexi, you will see down at the end there is a new option to store the selected mode. The extension automatically remembers the last mode you selected so mode is here the modes function so if you go for example to ascend mode or you have the volume mode the extension remembers that setting and when you start up again Bitwig, this will be the first mode which is active so for example if you prefer the volume mode instead of the track mode you can just select that one and it will be active when you restart Bitwig. a more interesting thing is the new function destinations midi cc so so currently when you use MIDI CC, all MIDI CC which was not mapped to a function was simply blocked and not forwarded. But sometimes it can get handy that you want to forward, for example, the sustain pedal to your script so you can also play the keyboard with it and use that. You can map now any CC or even other types. You could also map a note to a CC or a program change to a CC. So all the source options here are available and what I did here for as an example is I mapped the 112 which is here a button up here on a complete control MIDI mapping mode. I assign this now to the damper pedal so you can change any of the 127 available MIDI CCs and just to give you some ideas what you can do with it with the damper pedal here CC64 I can play. I can play the auction and now I could here uh, enable the damper pedal and a note to hold until I release the key again. So this could be come in handy, for example, if you want to start some sample loops or stuff like that. Another idea is what you could do. You could map it to modulation to CC1. So if you then press a knob, modulation will turn fully on and will stay on. This can also handle for an origin sound. So as you see, if I put up modulation, it will get the modulation. I can also put this now on this knob. So if I turn it on, you will have the modulation and it would stay on until you release it. So this can be come in handy in several ways. And these are now the extensions in 6.3 for the generic Flexi. Let's turn that off and look here now at the complete control changes. As you see, the name has slightly changed. So this extension supports all of the A series keyboards of native instruments and the new little one, the M32, as well as all the keyboards of the Mark II S series. So the 49, 61, and the 88. And looking at the configuration parameters, you will see I added quite a bunch of features. You can now select the behavior on stop that's new. And there is also now the option, let's start at the bottom maybe, you can also select the length for new clips because you can select for the record button to say I want to create a new clip, but you could not say so far how long this clip should be. So this is a setting down there. So you can say, for example, I always want to have two bars if I press the record button and create a new clip or you can also go up to 32 bars and there are two more options you can now flip the track and clip navigation so if you go here left and right with the encoder button you will see you can change the tracks and if you go up and down you can change the clips and with the a series and the m series strangely this is inverted so left and right the clips and up and down changes the tracks and uh, i got some questions from users who have both keyboards Words, that this is confusing and so that's why I added this option so you can simply say okay I want to flip that on an A series or also if you prefer it on an S series to have it the other way around now left and right is changing here the clips and up and down is now changing the tracks so for example if you also work in that mode this may also make more sense for you there is another option uh, there is clip and C navigation but so far there is no option to do the C navigation navigation on any of the keyboard models. So I added also that option. So if you turn that on, you can now also change the scene. So if I now go here left and right, I will move on the scene level and not on the clip level. And also now pressing the encoder starts that scene playback. So some handy new features for that. And until next time, make some funky music.